Hey, what's up guys? This is Andre or Chokenator if you know me from my stream. And today I'm going to show you a bit of a double whammy. I'm going to teach you a little bit of animation fundamentals and also uh, talk about how merging layers works in Krita, in Krita animation, because it can be a little finicky and uh, you can make some big mistakes that you don't really want. And I'm going to try to help you avoid those today. So today um, I, I have the sample animation here. It's this uh, sort of a wolf girl jumping around. This was a commission for a, actually a Twitch streamer. I can link his stream down below. Uh, she looks really happy there. And uh, I'm going to show you how I did it. So uh, if you've seen my previous tutorials, you pretty much know how to animate already, right? So I'm going to go ahead and show you the first thing you do, um, which is the sketch, right? Uh, you know, we just have her head, her rib cage, her pelvis, and her limbs. Very basic sketch, uh, very basic pieces to move around when you're sketching a human figure. Now, um, I did do these in black lines, but the reason I lowered the opacity is because I wanted to draw over it. So I'm going to lower the opacity again, go to the layer above it, and this is what's called primary animation. Now, uh, you can see I pretty much drew in her body there. And uh, it's not the most polished, but uh, I guess these are sort of uh, educated lines here. Um, and then after this, you see she's just a body, so you, it's well, of course it's not finished. And what you do after this, I'm going to lower the opacity again. And to do, draw her clothes, the reason I wanted to do secondary animation here is because she's wearing a lot of flowy clothes. She has a tail, a skirt, and hair, and all this has weight, and you want to um, put it in a new... Uh, well, I decided this time to put it in a new layer. Um, and even her breasts, too, because her breasts are, in this, I guess, quite large here, and she is jumping around. You don't always have to do the breasts in a new layer as secondary animation, but this time I decided to, along with all the clothes and hair. So she's jumping around here, and you can see everything's moving around. Now, um, how can I put these together, the primary and the secondary animation? Because I, if I remove the primary animation, it's just the extra parts moving around, right? And it, she just looks like a ghost, and she's not really there. So how do I merge these together? Um, now, uh, since I already have, uh, you know, everything is the same number of frames, um, I can go ahead and merge it already. But I do want to show you what happens if uh, frames are not synced or if there's extra frames or something like that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and copy these two layers. I'm going to copy this one, copy this one, make duplicates so that I can work with the duplicates. Duplicates. I'm going to remove the visibility of the originals here. So I have the two copies here. I'm going to go ahead and merge them, right? So I can go ahead and merge them and clean this up. But if I undo that, see, notice there's two copies here again. The layer above that you're merging down, uh, let's try deleting some of the frames that are up here. Now, if, if this was just a loop, you could see that some of the frames persist. Now, you can see that visibly in the latest versions of Krita where they show you this blue line. This blue line shows you that uh, something is persisting that this frame is persisting all the way into infinity, that if I move forward in the, to all the frames, to frame 30 and 40 and 50, which are not even in the animation, up to infinity, that this frame is the one that's going to be shown in the secondary animation. Now, if I merge those two layers, even though it's showing all these layers visible here, that sort of ghostly part is going to stick around. You can see that? Now, also, let me undo that merge. Oops. Let me undo that merge. There we go. So up here in this frame, or in this, excuse me, in this layer, if I create a new frame here, a blank frame, this is no longer persisting. You see the blue line is gone because this is a blank frame. So that's going to happen where her clothes were dis uh, disappeared there. If I end up drawing another line, in this new layer, or in this uh, top layer, I'm just going to draw a line right here in the blank frame. I'm going to draw it right there, just a random line. As you can see, the blue line has come back, and that frame is persisting. So if I loop the animation from 1 to 24 again, that line is going to be there. It's going to persist. So you want to avoid that happening, because let's say you have a, uh, a pretty long animation, and I'm going to go ahead and undo all of that. If you have a very long animation and the 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 uh, above layer has some data that is persisting all the way through, 
and you merge it down onto the, onto the layer below and it's a pretty long animation, it's going to be there and you're going to have to uh, do a lot of fixing in order to uh, get that um, get those lines out or whatever. There was one time I, I, I did a long animation uh, and that happened and uh, that was a really bad, bad mistake that I didn't want to repeat. So hopefully you guys understand that. Um, I hope I explained that clearly and um, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. But I'm going to go ahead and merge these two layers now since they are perfectly Oops, they are not perfectly aligned. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo those deletions earlier. And now, now you can check the frames if I, that I move between the two layers and they have the same number of frames and they're perfectly aligned. So now I'm gonna merge them. Now I could go back and show you that uh, you know, I could like go in here and clean up all the lines so you can't see um, all the stuff overlapping, but I've already done that. So here in my layer called line final, Here's the cleaned up girl jumping around. And if you refer to my second tutorial about coloring animation, you can see that I've already done that too in my color layer that she has been colored. So um, I can even isolate the color for you so you could see how it looks. It looks pretty cool without the lines, doesn't it? That's pretty neat. So that's uh, merging layers. That's a little bit about primary and secondary animation. I hope that helped you out. Um, let me know if you have any questions, if that was clear. Um, if it wasn't clear, maybe I could make a follow-up video uh, explaining further about how that works. Um, always pay, pay mind to this blue line here. And it shows you that this frame is the one that's persisting, moving into infinity. All right? So I hope that guys helps you out. Or I hope that helps you guys out. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, and I love you all. Bye-bye.